what do you think about what's going on with Disney right now, specifically Disney? It's it's weird to me that they want to cater to these lowest percentage of people in, on the planet. I mean, you know, it's I I don't I don't understand it. I don't understand this wokeness thing. I think I I was think I'm one of the first people that got you know attacked by the woke world and the cancel culture in Hollywood 12 years ago when they basically said we can't work with you anymore before it became a term. And uh, I, I, I honestly don't get it. You look at a movie like the Top Gun Maverick movie. It did so well because people said, here's just a movie that just, you know, waves the flag. Certainly it does. But that's what Top Gun and all things all about. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't pushing this agenda or pushing that agenda. We didn't even know who the enemy was. We no, didn't know who the bad they, they was. They, well, yeah. they didn't want to do that either. But, you know, but it, at the same time, it was just a movie that was just fun to watch. And it was just, uh, you know, it, it, it did so well because it – Catered to the audience that still wants to go see theaters. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't. You know, people get mad. There was a movie. Was this the one that had the gay relationship in it or something? So they get mad because people don't want to see that. And you're going, well, let people see what they want to see. I thought there's supposed to be a free country and we're supposed to go where we want. To, you know. It's, oh yeah, yeah. I'm not telling Disney not to do what they're doing with the movies, but that why am I doing movies that are totally opposite that have love and hope and laughter and redemption? Those are the kind of movies I want to do, and those are the movies that people keep telling me to make. But I don't have a hundred million dollar budget like they do to advertise it because they did. That's what they did. A movie like that needs to get to about five hundred, six hundred million dollars to break even. Yeah. And that's why they keep doing movies like. Avatar and Avengers and things like that. They need to get to that level, but they're going to make $2 billion in theaters. So they're going to make Pirates of the Caribbean 14. They're going to keep making <laughs> these movies until Avengers people get tired of them. They'll, and they'll keep doing it. So you, you think that Avengers going to pay Johnny Depp the $300 million to do Pirates of the Caribbean? Probably. And you think he's going to accept it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you might have heard he's had some legal troubles. Yeah. But when you said, oh, you said the term, they, they keep playing to the lowest percentage of people what do you mean by that exactly? Well, it just seems like they, they wanted. To, okay, what what percentage of the population is transgender? Zero yeah, point five percent. It's nothing. pretty low. Yeah, exactly. Fine. If people want to do that with life. Fine. I, I'm not racist towards that or hate people that go through that. In mm -hmm. fact, I feel sorry for some because what I've read about it, they go through a lot of things psychologically as well. It's a lot of trauma. Yeah, a lot of yep, trauma in that sure. world. And then the gay population, I love when they call me a homophobe. I've been in the business 40 years. I work with gay people in every set I've been on. You won't find one that said he was so mean to me. They won't. But it's easy. Just being a conservative is yeah. enough for them to say, oh, he hates gay people. No, he don't. But it's easy to have that mark. And they have their labels. But that's all they have is their labels. They don't have things to back it up. They have these little labels that the media yeah. tells them to say, you're racist, you're homophobe, you're anti-Semite. They say all this stuff. Well, they're actually the ones who are anti-Semite. But anyway, uh, it's a weird world out there right now where they come after you for anything. I mean, the people that attack me on Twitter, I can say, great day in the golf course. I hope you die. You know, <laughs> so, like, these, these people have nothing better to do with their lives. And to me, I feel more sad for them. I don't feel anger towards them. I feel like, my God, what kind of life did they lead when they got to wake up every morning and look in the mirror and hey, what they see? What a horrible way to go through life every you, day. You're saying like the law of large numbers that 0.5%, 5%, 2%, whatever the number is, yeah. they're catering to that audience than sure. the 90 plus percent. Which is, you know what which it's is like? weird. Yeah, it's Here's called the loudest percent. Like. What the business are you in? You're in what business? The life insurance Show business. But, but you're, not, <laughs> you're not just in the life insurance business. You're in the life settlement business. Correct. Okay, so life settlement. Imagine if you started targeting 20-year-olds yeah, and, and your commercials yeah. for life settlement, which is what? For clients that are above 78, let's just say, right? 75 70, and correct, up, right? Correct, correct. Imagine if these life settlement companies started targeting 18-year-old kids saying, think about your life insurance policy. 18-year-old kids can say, what the hell? I guarantee no you 90% of people listening to this right now don't even know what life settlement is. Correct. Like, I'm sorry. Nor let me they, Google life. Unless they're Here's what life settlement is. You're 75 years old. You have a $5 million insurance policy. You got a $2 million insurance policy. Everybody you love is no longer alive, and your kids, who you had insurance for, no longer need insurance because they're married, their career is fine, they're doing good, but your premium used to be $200 a month. Now it's $500 a month. Now it's $2,000 a month. You can't afford it. So you got $5 million. A guy like this comes up to you and says, listen, I'll pay you 18% for your $2 million policy. You're paying however much money. I'll pay you 18% for it. What's 18%? $360,000 here. Mm -hmm. Give us a $2 million insurance policy. We'll pay the premium. You're 78 years old. Based on your life expectancy, you're going to die at 85. We'll take the risk. Okay, cool. 360, I'm alive. I get the $2 million policy. I'll make the exchange, right? Mm -hmm. If an insurance company targeted 18-year-olds, that's stupid practice. 
Okay? And that's what Disney's doing. So on the capitalism side, Makes sense. it's dumb practice because capitalism eventually exposes dumb ideas and Disney's getting exposed for dumb ideas, Bob mm-hmm. Shapek, where they have to beg a Bob Iger to come back, which Bob Iger is sitting there saying, I may have some political aspirations that he has to put on pause because the guy went from being a Democrat to apparently he's a more in the independent middle right now. And he was kind of having the conversation when he was buying 21st Century Fox when Murdoch asked him and said, hey, any aspirations to run for office? Not really, even though he was thinking about running for president. Will Bob Iger save it? Then there's the other part. So one is capitalism. Yeah. is going to expose. You know what the other part is? Here's the other part. Sitting there with the movie. It's literally the scene when it happens. So, so far, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this cartoon. I actually like watching cartoons. I like cartoons. I'm the 44-year-old guy that likes watching a good cartoon. And then all of a sudden, you see this uh, 10-year-old kid blushing when another 10-year-old kid with highlights shows up. It's like, oh, oh my God. And I'm like, wait, what? And they come like, oh. I said, okay, I get you. What you're trying to do, you want to say that we have a high DEI score because everything you have meets the guidelines of that community. Okay, one, uh, don't forget who your customers are. Mm. Kids are not buying $20 tickets. Parents are. Mm -hmm. You're an idiot if you think parents are going to sit there. Most parents are going to sit there and say, well, you know what? Uh, It's okay. No, a lot of parents are going to say, no, it's not okay. And then they're going to go to a different place. Order your Future Looks Bright hat. Click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.